My name is Claudia Castillo and today I will be talking about degenerative brain diseases. So what are these? Degenerative brain diseases are basically what the general public knows as dementia, right? But then dementia is actually a term that is used to describe the top three most common degenerative brain diseases. These are known as Alzheimer's disease, Lewy body disease, and Pitt's disease. All these, like I just said, are degenerative brain diseases, meaning that they degenerate the cells and the nerves in the brain, otherwise known as the neurons. So basically, as the neurons start degenerating or dying, they get into this process that's basically that basically progressively gets worse, meaning that there really isn't a way to stop it. And as of now, there isn't a way to cure it either. Now, as to why this occurs, there really isn't a specific reason why this happens but there are some outside factors that kind of back up why this occurs to some people and these are just like smoking obesity or just any of these diseases running in the family so yes they can be genetic but then at the same time it's kind of like predominant like anybody who is part of the aging population is just very predominant to get any of these diseases now is there a way to stop it or is there a way is there a way to kind of like stay away from it happening so soon yes there is actually <laughs> we can train our neurons to stay young and i know it sounds a little crazy but we can actually get into a very healthy diet exercise a lot but obviously only the right amount uh, only the right amounts and then we can also stay out of any type of stress or anything that will affect the neurons by doing all these things we can make our neurons still stay healthier and stay younger and as they stay younger they are obviously less predominant to be able to degenerate and just age and die right so yeah that's kind of like a way that we can prevent it from happening but then we also have to be aware of the fa of the fact that all these diseases can occur at a very early age but then start actually showing up symptoms in the body later on in life meaning that at the age of 40 you can be diagnosed with any of these diseases but then start actually experiencing some symptoms like anxiety memory loss or just any type of uneasiness that happens in your any in your everyday life um at like the age of 60 right which is very late in life now to put it in a different way or in a different manner it's kind of like getting a concussion which is when the when the nerves in the brain are stretched and are kind of triggered right you can experience memory memory loss and this is kind of like the same thing occurring it's just that the cells die meaning that there's no way to go back so 